ஐ வெல்கம் எவ்ரி ஒன் டு ஒரு யூடியூப் சேனல் ஏ யூ கிரே ஆர்கானிக்ஸ் இஃப் யூ நியூ டு அவர் சேனல் யூ கேன் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அவர் சேனல் அவர் சேனல் இஸ் ஓன்லி சேனல் டு கியூ அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் எஜுகேஷன் ரிலேட்டட் வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் ஐசர் கவுன்சிலிங் வீடியோஸ் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் ஸோ யூ கேன் ஷேர் அவர் சேனல் வித் யூர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன் வீடியோ ஃபார் ஐசர் பிஜன் பிஹெச்டி கவுன்சிலிங் இஃப் யூ ஆர் அட்டெண்டிங் ஃபார் ஐசர் பிஜன் பிஹெச்டி கவுன்சிலிங் ஷோர் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி வெரி ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் யூஸ்ஃபுல் டு யூ ஸோ யூ கேன் ஷேர் வித் யூர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஐசர் டுடே தே ஹவ் ரிலீஸ்ட் திஸ் கவுன்சிலிங் ப்ரோச்சர் அண்ட் சாய்ஸ் ஃபில்லிங் ஃபார் த அகடமிக் இயர் டுவெண்ட்டி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபார் பிஜன் பிஹெச்டி இன் தட் இந்த எலிஜிபிலிட்டி தே ஹவ் மென்ஷன் தட் for both for pg and phd they have mentioned the same eligibility that is the candidate should have completed their qualifying degree before 10th september 2024 so this is one of the important problem for most of the students those who till not submitted your msc thesis those who are applying for phd and those who have not yet got your pdc or course completion certificate for ug so this is one of the major problem for most of the students those who have not yet received your pdc and the before uh, mentioned date so here i will read line by line what they have given the candidates must complete graduate degree in all respects and should have all the degree completion requirements pdc on or before 10th september 2024 you should have completed all the courses and you should have been eligible for this course before this time and a proof of this effect has to be produced at the time of online verification of documents by the provisionally admitted university to which university you have been allotted so you have to upload at the time of uh, document verification and that particular university has to verify that one during counseling failing which will they will not be considered for admission so if you are uh, not uploading this one or uh, if your degree is uh, after this period so you will not be eligible for this admission no correspondence shall be entertained by this council in this regard next at the time of online verification of documents by allotted university the candidates will be required to produce provisional degree certificate and degree of qualifying graduate examination issued by the university for this purpose so here they mentioned that final year mark sheets or grade reports related to ug bachelor's degree or certificate from the registrar of the concerned university here they have mentioned registrar also so you can get your course completion certificate from the registrar are only not from dean or principal or anyone so you have to get to only from your register so you have completed your course before this time so you are eligible for this course before this this time so next similarly they have mentioned for phd also here i am having the counseling brochures both for pg and phd so here for phd we can see that the same eligibility they have mentioned that you should have completed your pg before this time and uh, up to here it will be same so here i will tell the candidates who do not have degree or pdc have mandatorily produce a certificate from registrar of the concerned university specifically indicating that so from this it is important the candidate has fulfilled all the requirements for award of masters degree so here you clearly note that you should have completed all the courses including thesis submission you should have submitted your thesis before 10th september and completion of thesis vivos and you should have completed your vivos before that time and his or her final ogp or percentage of the marks so they have to mention everything at the end of final semester or year before 10th september 2024 so you should have completed your vivos and you should have submitted your thesis before that time so icer has clearly mentioned in this okay this is enough so now we will come to the point most of the universities especially south indian universities such as karnataka farm universities so there here there are five different universities in karnataka five agriculture and horticulture universities next tamil nadu agricultural universities next pjtsiu angro kerala agriculture university so like this most of the agriculture universities they have not yet given pdc for the year for ug so this is one important and especially for msc they have not yet submitted the thesis also and uh, currently that thesis submission process is going on so icr should have given this eligibility criteria at the time of admission notification by nta or at least they should have given this uh, criteria before one month like that but uh, now they have given the time for choice filling only 2 to 3 days and now they are telling the eligibility was before some days so you see that already 7 days crossed from that date so how they can give this so all the students those who have not yet completed or not yet got your pdc because many students they have not submitted the thesis yet and they have got very good ranks i know some of the people those who have got first rank second rank like that and they not yet submitted their thesis and their vivo was spending so like that many problems are there so all together you have to mail to icr here they have given this mail id of icr helpline desk so help desk they have given and the mobile number so the important thing is you have to call icr to this helpline number and you have to talk with them so you should tell all your problems because most of the universities they have not given pdc and you have to solve your problem by yourself and you have to mail to all the authorities those who are responsible for this icr counseling